I'm Dave Darrenpool. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. Today we're going to talk about tension buttress stabilization. Now tension buttress stabilization is nothing more than just simply putting a right triangle against the vehicle itself. Now there's a lot of different strut systems out there for if a vehicle's overturned or if it's upside down or if it's on a different object. We're going to show you simple basic, the simple basic principle behind tension buttress cribbing. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to come in on a vehicle on its side. We're going to first put in a cradle of cribbing underneath the vehicle all the way around it to fill in all the voids. Then we're going to work from the dirty side, which is the undercarriage side, and then to the clean side, which is the sheet metal side. We're going to put two struts in on the dirty side and two struts in on the clean side, thus capturing the vehicle and increasing its basic ground contact. Now, our crew's going to come in. They're going to go through the entire evolution step by step. So let's take a look at what they're going to do. Here our rescue crew is coming in. They're going to put in a cradle of cribbing around the vehicle, both the dirty side, the undercarriage side, and the clean side. Now they're putting two struts in place. We want to try and stay away from any suspension components and stay between the wheels, inside of the wheels, on the dirty side or undercarriage side of the vehicle. Once the strut has been placed, then they're going to take a ratchet strap and run that ratchet strap from the base of the strut to the vehicle itself, thus making a complete right triangle against the vehicle, widening in its base of contact. Any extra strap from the ratchet strap, we're either going to wrap around the base of the strut or we're going to tuck it up close to the vehicle itself so it stays away and it's not a trip hazard. Now once the dirty side is secure, we're going to come over and work on the clean side. The reason why we work on the dirty side or undercarriage side first is many times we're going to have to make an opening or a purchase point on the clean side. Thus, we're going to either have to cut into the metal or widen the metal. If we do that, we're putting pressure against the other side of the vehicle. But since we've already captured the other side of the vehicle, the vehicle still stays solid. Now many times we'll only be able to get three struts in. In this vehicle we're able to get four in. Think about it, the vehicle on its side, what part of the vehicle are you going to take apart? You're only going to remove the roof extrication wise. Here the crew is making a purchase point to hook the strap in the front. In the back they made a purchase point to insert the end of the strut. And again, just like the dirty side, once the strut is in place, we're going to run a ratchet strap from the base of the strut to the vehicle itself to complete the right triangle, thus widening the base of contact the vehicle has with the ground. 
Once we've completed both sides, we'll make sure that all the ratchet straps are tight and then we're complete, the vehicle is solid. Okay, our crew finished up our tension buttress stabilization evolution. They went through it step by step, simple basic process. It was very quick. It locked the vehicle in place, very, very positive. Again, we wanted to show and demonstrate in this evolution the simple principle behind tension buttress stabilization. Nothing more than a right triangle against the vehicle. There's other systems out there that can be complex that work well. However, they all work behind this simple principle. I'd like to thank our sponsor, Homatro, and I'd like to thank you for watching Training Minutes. Be safe out there.